What's going on guys, Super Savage uh, 789 here, bringing you guys a video And today we're doing a what if one shot What if Nam was trained by Master Roshi So, let's jump straight into today's video Now, how would I go about setting up the scenario? Well, it's very simple In the 21st Tenkaichi Budokai Jackie Chun and Son Goku would change places in the roster This might not seem like a big change, but trust me it would be Goku would go up against Yamcha and the two of them would have a good fight, with Yamcha realising how unmatched he is now by Goku. The last match, they were at least somewhat even, but now, it's like he's on a whole new level. Yamcha would of course get wrung out by Son Goku. And then, Jackie Chan would go up against Giren. Well, I don't have to tell you. Giren would obviously lose. That gum gum attack? Heh, <laughs> that barely do anything. Except slow down Jackie Chan to knock him in. The next fight would be Krillin vs Goku, and it would be a friendly match. It fist bumped before, just like in the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai. Because Krillin and Goku don't know very many key attacks at this moment, it would just be a pure martial arts fight. And although it would be a pretty good match, I think it's fairly obvious who would come out on top. Goku would go for a Jankin attack, and with a paper, knock Krillin out of the arena. And then we'd go up against Jackie Chan vs Nam. Roshi would be able to know that Nam is a very skilled martial artist, but he lacks just overall teaching. Nam and Jackie Chan would fight, where Jackie Chan would take the time to mentor him a bit. He won't go on the offensive very often, and so would just block his attacks, showing him how to be a good martial artist. Nam would leap into the air, and come back down with his cross arms chop, where he'd hit Master Roshi in the back of the neck. He'd tell Master Roshi that he won't wake up for 10 days, but he'd hear his laughter. It's a good attack, young man, but you lack the power to actually execute it. Before Nam can question anything, he's knocked out of the arena. Before the finals, Roshi would go up to Nam and give him the capsule which could be filled with water, and then he offers Nam a proposal. Come train with me, I can teach you a thing or two, and you're able to defend your village much better. Nam is taken aback by this, he says that he'll think about it. Then the finals would go the same as normal. Nam would venture off back to his village where he'd give them the capsule full of water, and would tell them that he has to go train for a while, but don't worry, he will be back. He would go to Master Roshi's island, having directions given to him by the old turtle hermit, and would start training, where he'd be thrown into the bulk of the Red Ribbon Army saga. Goku would arrive on the island and see Nam, glad that he's training with Master Roshi. And while they wait for Krill and Launch to get back with the submarine, Goku and Nam would spar together, where Nam would realise just how really good Goku is. Nam would go with Krillin, Bulma, and Goku to the Pirate's Cave, where they'd be able to get through the trap corridor fairly easily, as Nam would, I think in my opinion, be stronger than Krillin, and easily get over. So, Nam would go with Goku, Bulma, Krillin, and encounter the Pirate Robot, where Goku would tell them to go on as normal. Nam, Krillin, and Bulma would encounter the treasure, and then General Blue would show up. Nam, thinking fast, would start fighting Blue, and give Blue a good run for his money, but he'd manage to grab Bulma, and get her in a headlock, pulling the gun to her neck. Nam, thinking fast, would pout his lips, and start whistling. He'd be channeling one of the gods in his culture. His name I forget, but I'll put it on screen. The whistle would hit Blue in his ears, causing him to drop the gun, screaming in pain as he holds his head. Make it stop, make it stop! Blue would pass out from the pain. The four of them would escape with the treasure, leaving Blue there in the cave to die. And since Blue would never take the Dragon Radar, the Doctor Slump crossover would never happen. So, we moved swiftly along to the Barber Tournament, as Nam would stay on the island with everyone else, but he'd still go with everyone to Red Ribbon Army base to get Goku. He'd go up after Yamcha against Bandages, and although he'd give him a good match, he'd still be wrung out. Well, not wrung out, but he'd be hit over the edge, and I think he'd barely be able to survive catching himself before he falls to the acid. Then, the rest of the saga plays out as normal. Nam, after a couple months of training, with Roshi, would want to go back to his village, which he does. So, he would do just that, going back to his village and defend it. But then, the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai would show up. Nam would of course go, so he can get the prize money, but he wouldn't even make it past the preliminaries. Tien, knowing that Nam was a member of the turtle school, would go even more harsh on him. I think he'd break his arm and then knock him out. So now he'd be wheeled to the infirmary. 
Yamcha, seeing Nam get hurt like this, would be much more hesitant to fight Tien. He'd be very careful during their fight. So I think Yamcha could avoid his leg getting broken. Nam would awaken with his arm in a slink and come out to the others, where he'd see the Goku vs Tien match. During the feast afterwards, Tien would apologise to Nam for breaking his arm, which Nam would understand, accepting his apology, saying, oh, forgive and forget, and stuff like that. Since Nam is a turtle fighter, it wouldn't change really much, so King Piccolo would be awakened. Of course, Krillin would die, Goku would rush off, and everyone would go to collect the Dragon Balls, with Nam staying back with all the Nanda fighters, as he is currently broken. Since Yamcha hasn't got his leg broken, he goes with Roshi, Tien, and Chaozu to collect the Dragon Balls. After Roshi dies, Yamcha would go angry. He'd charge at Piccolo with a Wolfang Fist. Piccolo wouldn't even give him the time to use. He simply kill Yamcha with a key blast. The saga ends as normal, with Goku penetrating through King Piccolo and Piccolo Jr. being born. Nam will train for the three years just to so get the prize money for the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai. I think Nam would go up against Yamcha in the preliminaries of this match and give him a good fight, but I think Nam would be stronger than Yamcha and subsequently would be able to beat him up. Yamcha would try his Sokidon, and start throwing the ball around the arena, which Nam would be able to dodge easily. And then, he'd lean backwards and fire a Key Blast out of his nose, based off another Hindu god, which will be on screen, and will hit the Sokidon, causing it to explode. During this, Nam goes for a cross-arm dive, hitting Yamcha in the back of the neck, knocking him out. And then, Nam would go up against Hero, during the quarterfinals of the Tenkeiji Budokai. Well, of course, Hero would be able to beat him, being Kami. Moving swiftly along to the Saiyan invasion, as, of course, Nam wouldn't do much against Raditz. So, Nam would train with everyone on the lookout, going back to his village occasionally. I think he'd be weaker than Tien, but stronger than Krillin. He and his power level this, and would go to the fight. He'd save Yamcha from the Cybermen fate, as he'd kick it before it could explode, causing it to explode on its own. This would anger Nappa, however, so we charge at Nam, punching him in the face, and takes his head clean off. This would anger Krill and cause him to do the splat uh, Kamehameha, killing all the Cybermen. I don't think Yamcha would survive this fight, as, you know, he'd get cocky, and Nappa would use this to his advantage, maybe faking a big blow to pretend that it hurt, and then using this to kill Yamcha. So, the rest of the Saiyan invasion, and Namek Saga would go the same as canon. I think Nam would go to the android attack, as he'd want to help out. Yamcha would still get impaled through the chest, but it'd be Nam to take him to go get a sensu bean, and then meet up with the others. Where Nam would get taken up by Android 17 and 18, like everyone else except Krillin, because, you know, Krillin's a bit of a bitch. Continuing on, Nam would go with Tien, and the two would take on Semi Perfect Cell, with Tien using the Shinki Koho and Nam using the whistle attack. Luckily, Goku would be there to use instant transmission and get both Tien, Nam, and Piccolo out there before they could die. Where the rest of the saga would play out as normal, with Gohan getting Super Saiyan 2, killing Cell, and Goku dying. We move on to the 25th Tenkaichi Budokai, which again, Nam would attend, as he wants the prize money. He'd meet up with all his friends and son Goku. So, he'd enter the tournament replacing Punta. I think that's the guy that fought Krillin is either Punsa or Killer. They would replace that guy. Krillin and Nam would have a good match, but I think it's fairly obvious who would come out on top. Krillin wasn't training very much during these years, but Nam would be, so he'd be able to take the win. But this won't really matter, as they'd all rush off to go stop Spopovich and Yamu. As Krillin and Piccolo say, Nam would get spat on and turn to stone. But after Deborah dies, they would all meet up at the lookout. Nam would help Piccolo teach the boys a fusion dance, but sadly would meet his fate to Super Boo. The Boo Saga plays out as normal, as does most of Super. Nam would go to Bowman's party, but besides that he won't be seen much. I'm 100% positive that Goku would try to recruit him during the Tournament of Power, but Nam would tell his friend he can't go. He's sorry, but he has to defend his village. Goku's somewhat annoyed by this, he tells Nam that he has to go, otherwise the universe will be destroyed. But Nam suggests maybe bring back his grandfather, kind of like at the Barbar tournament. Goku knows that he can't bring back Grandpa Gohan for another day, but that does give him an idea. But guys, 
that's where I'm going to leave it here. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you think my next wife's going to be. If you're in the Discord, you know what it is. But it's always fun to guess. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this one. And although Nam didn't really change much the story, I think it's pretty cool just to include him. But uh, yeah, bye.